Okay, good morning everybody. My name is uh, Timoselis and uh, I'm coming from the Archimedes uh, let's call it research center, but I don't want to confuse it with the research center that hosts us. Uh, it's research center Athena. So uh, let's call Archimedes a research unit. Uh, a few words about me. Um, first of all, uh, I'm not an AI person, I'm a big data person. Let's make this clear. So I don't want to claim any, anything that has to do with AI in terms of uh, my background. Uh, although uh, I introduced and taught uh, the first AI course in my university, the National Technical University of Athens, for about 15 years. But that's a different story. Uh, okay. So um, my background is um, data management and databases, for those of you familiar with the terms. Um, and for many years, uh, I, was, uh, I was in academia, so um, I was a professor um, in the US, then a professor in Greece for 20 years, then in Australia for seven years, um, then uh, spent some time at Facebook as a visiting scientist and uh, back to Greece where I, I have the role of the scientific director of Archimedes. And a few words about Archimedes, uh, allow me some uh, advertisement. Uh, Archimedes is a new research center, um, which is a research unit, I'm sorry, uh, which is focusing on uh, AI in general, but the priority for us is basic research. So Archimedes is offering an environment in Greece. Uh, by the way, it's not it's not bound to Research Center Athena. I call it a Greek uh, graduate school on uh, AI data science and algorithms. That's the full title of the center. Um, and our goal is to offer um, mainly to doctoral students the ability to study in Greece instead of going abroad, but having in their supervision teams also Greeks from abroad. Okay, so you met Christos Papadimitriou the first day. He's one of our, not only researchers, he's what we call a principal scientist with Konstantinos Daskalakis, who's a professor at MIT, and I think will give a talk the last day. Um, with, together with the organization that had the problem, they worked all together to develop a solution in eight to 10 weeks. So it was not a, it was a, it was not a general thing, you had to, uh, deliver something uh, that's useful to, to the people that need it. And of course, if you again se uh, search on the internet, the, uh, Microsoft has something they call AI for good, AI for humanitarian action, AI for accessibility, AI for earth are the three pillars they have, but there are other organizations. And of course, half of them are using AI for good as a, as a slogan, as a as a way of, 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 what do you call it, social responsibility for the companies. Um, but some of them, I think, uh, there, there are some good efforts that really believe in this. Um, uh. <clears throat> in terms of data science, uh, this is my final slide, I think. Yes. Um, so I think we should focus on Maslow's pyramid or something like this to better understand and connect the work that we do in AI, data science, etc., with what people need, to develop methodologies and tools uh, that drive people upwards this uh, pyramid. And of course, without overlooking the fact, as, as I say, that we need to digitally disrupt what we're doing now so that it's better across institutions and people. I think digital disruption, as we all know, is a big discussion. Uh, um, thank God, uh, many people stopped thinking that you can disrupt digitally by just putting a machine on an employee's desk and asking the employee to work in a digital world rather than on papers that they used to work. Um, digital disruption is much more complicated and there are many people uh, focusing on how to make this successful. but. Uh, what I mean by disconnecting that we should focus on Maslow's pyramid and uh, to, uh, to do digital disruption in a good way 
is because I feel that you need both. You could call it uh, digital uh, literacy that you need to improve. You can call it digital disruption. You can do digital transformation, but that's different. The first one says, let's focus on something that looks at, at what the needs are, and then uh, we can decide what to do next. And I think with this slide, uh, I'll stop here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.